As we finish our circumnavigation of Mirror Lake, let's turn on our junction to Tom, Dick, and Harry Mountain. We are officially entering Salmon Huckleberry Wilderness. Expansive view of Mount Hood National Forest. Gosh, this is beautiful. Ooh. Look at the beautiful. Mount Hood. Oh, that is gorgeous. We're currently ascending to the top of Tom Dick and Harry Mountain Summit and turning around and looking at these epic, gorgeous views of the glowing effervescent Mount Hood. Let me pan over and show you this expansive, sprawling Mount Hood National Forest. Oh my gosh. As I continue to climb on my trail, we're currently ascending. Tom, Dick, and Harry Mountain. We've made it through that exposed boulder section. Pretty expansive views of the mighty Mount Hood. As we continue along with our Yak Track Summit. Stop here and pan around again. Give you the beautiful, expansive uh, National Forest. <sighs> Watching my step because this could be dangerous. And I'll stop and pan again. Oh, this is beautiful. Continuing along Tom, Dick, and Harry Summit Trail. Walking through a beautiful snowy forest, Mount Hood National Forest. We are part way towards the summit, about 1.1 miles up, about 400 feet up from the last junction. We've got about 1.4 miles and 400 feet up to the top. We've got a pile of rocks there and we're getting some peaks of the sun it's just very beautiful oh there's sun oh it's gorgeous so look back at this pile of rock not sure why that was created but nonetheless it is there a landmark it's kind of nice to have the sun peeking in on our winter wonderland as we ascend Mount Hood National Forest and uh, there's a whole new element of beauty. See the true vividness of these green trees we're hiking by. I'm a big fan of hiking early in the morning, like sunrise, for temperature management, safety, minimal traffic, etc. But one of the collateral damages sometimes you 
get a drearier experience because of the lack of light, because it's sun isn't up in the sky, the fireball has not taken its position for the day. So, kind of nice to get the sun starting to do its thing as we're ascending Tom Dick and Harry Mountain. I gotta say, it's really nice to have the sun out perked me up and climbing in that in the shadow of the ridge for a couple hours. I didn't realize how much the sun was gonna just kind of make me snap to attention. It feels good. It's a pretty exposed section, so it's pretty snowy. Kind of a weird mix of terrains at this point in the year, end of November. First mile was pure ice. And we had tree canopy with really just dirt. Now we're getting up towards the summit and it's back to snow. And get a variety of everything on this hike. But definitely all the traction control device is backtrack summit or micro spikes. I'm an admirer of the unique ecological footprint of every forest. It tells the story, the history of that forest. Uh, like the fingerprint on your hand getting up to the summit zone. We are within tenths of the end of the road. And look at this, expansive views. This beautiful area. If we continue to hike along. <clears throat> Climbing to the summit. Tom Dick and Harry Mountain. Look at these views. Oh, got Jefferson off in the distance. here on Tom, Dick and Harry Mountain Summit Trail, actually descending this beautiful mountain, just got to the top, 9.2 miles, 1700 foot elevation. I will stop and just take advantage of this incredible view of Mount Hood, that glowing effervescent white marshmallow goodness. Absolutely beautiful. Mount Hood National Forest 